Kelly Cathy Woods with Couple Soul Show and the Philadelphia Tribune. In the super building. proud of you. <laughs> hey, two one five. I'm super proud of you, Will, for this. And my question is for you and Ben. How hard was it? Because you know you have to step into a very ugly dynamic, and I'm sure Ben, you're lovely, but you now have to have these scenes where it's it's very menacing, and the words that are coming out of Ben's mouths are just callous. How did you prepare and approach to film these scenes, and you know just to make and also to make sure that there is some healing at the end of the day, it didn't go home with you. Let's start with you, Will, if you don't mind. Yeah, you know, it, it's, uh, I, I, I credit uh, Ben mm -hmm. with with getting my hair right um, on the, the, the first day of shooting, you know? So it was hot, there's hundreds of extras, all of that. So, you know, I f I'm out on the set feeling like I'm, you know, I'm a producer, so I got to produce and I'm talking to everybody and I'm trying to, you know, do my Will Smith to get everybody, <laughs> you know, to be comfortable on, on the set. And Ben walks on set and just walks past me and doesn't speak. And I was like, oh, maybe, maybe he didn't see me, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> you know, and, but Ben was locked from day one for with the like just the depth and the importance of this role the message that i was feeling from ben is we're not we're not playing you know and he just really got me locked into the depth of what we were um about to undertake and we we didn't speak we didn't make eye contact or speak off camera for six months we didn't exchange a word for six months mm -hmm. you know and he just he got my head all the way right um what was your side of that ben and i can vouch i can vouch for ben's loveliness yeah I'm, I'm i appreciate that <laughs> i do yeah. <laughs> first time he told me no <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I didn't want to do this movie <laughs> Antoine calls me up, says, you know, I'm like, absolutely not. I didn't say any such words. I didn't say that. I was like, oh, Mr. Fuqua, you know, big fan forever. Will Smith, decades. I've been a huge fan. No. Uh, my, 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 my grandparents are, are immigrants from, from Eastern Europe. They escaped the, the pogroms. Uh, Romanian uh, uh, Ukraine. And uh, they marched with Martin Luther King month after Selma. The, my grandfather would pick it outside Woolworths because people of color were not allowed to eat at the cafe table. This is how I was raised. I do not want to be the face of white evil. Right, right. But then Antoine said something on, on the call where I've already decided like, mm -mm. he said, I want to lift the veil. I want to lift the veil. I was like, please do. Mm -hmm. And we hung up and it was understood this was not going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, but then those words kept me up. They kept me up all night. And I went into a rabbit hole. It's like, what does that mean? Lift the veil, lift the veil. We've seen these, we've seen films about this time in America's history. We're reading the news every day. Last thing I want to do is, is be the face of that. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to think about it. And in the not wanting to think about it, made me realize that I needed to think about it. Mm -hmm. And then the design came and it was a very simple adjustment. I spent two days talking to my wife. I was supposed to do a different show. I was already in contract, but this thing kept banging around my head. I'm like, let's take him out of the South. Mm -hmm. That was the epiphany, real simple. Just take him out of the South, take Vassal out and put him in the plains. Yeah. If we put them in the plains, then we can start lifting the veil. Mm -hmm. Let's take the South. Not all Southerners are racist, mm -hmm. period. Not all Northerners are civil rights activists. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> he could be your neighbor. He could be a farmer next door. He could run the store. Mm -hmm. That's the racist that you got to look out for. Mm -hmm. And let's look at the seeds of racism. And then I called up Antoine. I was like, okay, what if we do this? 
and if we can have a peek of how is racism born? I don't have an answer for that. I'm not going to claim to, but how, how do you learn to hate? Yeah. And, and he said, let's go. So we dove in to ask of saying, I don't know, but maybe I can help serve, tell this story uh, with Antoine and ask a lot of questions, scary, nervy questions about white fear. I walk on set and I don't see Will Smith. Mm -hmm. I see Peter. Mm -hmm. I see a man who's gone deep inside. I'm like, we don't need to talk. Mm -hmm. Let's do the work. So Will snapped me into attention. Mm -hmm. So I thank you for that. Yeah, that story he tells was a work. Yeah. We worked on that. Ben, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, that story, uh, that chilling story. Uh, was so humanizing to understand uh, institutional racism. Yeah. That it's it's taught to the children, mm -hmm. right? Because uh, he says she was my friend. Yeah. And then just for that, she's she's killed. And we talked about the question of what would she say? What would she say? What would she say? And this is the question that we're asking everybody: is why? Why? It's the last words out of her mouth. Why? You know, that's the question. Mm -hmm. hmm. Why? You know, why did George Floyd die mm -hmm. that way? Why would Emmett Till be killed that way? We have so many questions. Mm -hmm. Why? And we still haven't got a real answer mm -hmm. except for economic progress. Right. So it all came from, from that. And thank God Ben played the role. Yeah. He killed it. He killed it for sure. Thank you for inviting me. And I'm sorry. <laughs>